Good afternoon, my name is Charlie Runyon. I have the honor of serving as President and CEO of St. John's. These are certainly unprecedented times not only for our St. John's family, but for people across our community and throughout the nation. I've been a nursing home administrator for 38 years and can honestly say that I have never witnessed anything like the circumstances we're now facing. We continue to keep the well-being of those entrusted to our care as our first and foremost priority. We have many safeguards in place to protect and preserve the health, safety, and quality of life for our residents and staff members. At this time, we're grateful to have no cases of COVID-19 among our population of residents or staff. We're following the guidelines of the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services and the Department of Health to ensure that this continues. One important way we do this is to continue to enforce the restricted visitation policy that we have been mandated to follow at St. John's Home, Penfield Greenhouse Homes, and the Hawthorne at St. John's Meadows, which is our enhanced assisted living community. Our visitation policy. That policy includes restricting the access of all visitors except those that are predetermined as medically necessary by St. John's administration. Family members seeking special authorization to visit should contact their loved one's neighborhood administrator. All permitted entrance to the building, including every staff member daily upon entering work, will be required to answer the following questions as well as be screened for an elevated temperature before entry into our facilities. Are you showing signs or symptoms of a respiratory infection, such as a fever, cough, shortness of breath, or sore throat? In the last 14 days, have you had contact with someone with a confirmed diagnosis of COVID-19, or are you under investigation for COVID-19 or respiratory illness? Have you traveled outside of Monroe County within the last 14 days, or abroad to countries with sustained community transmission? Do you reside in a community where spread of COVID-19 is occurring? Any screened visitors who answer yes to any of the questions above may be declined permission to enter the building after further review or be required to wear personal protective equipment at the full discretion of St. John's administration. As circumstances change, we may need to ask additional questions. Residents and families continue to have access to the New York State Ombudsman Program at 585-287 6414. Connecting with residents through technology. We understand that restricting visitation is very difficult for our residents and their families. That is why we've been developing creative ways to provide engagement at this time when human connection is ever so important. Through the generous support of St. John's Foundation, we have purchased iPads for every neighborhood so that every resident can have scheduled time to periodically connect with their loved ones through Skype or FaceTime. We are also allowing families to drop off personal smart electronic devices such as iPhones, Google Home, or Amazon Alexa units for use by their loved ones if it is within their ability to use them. To schedule a time for video chatting, please call 585-760-1290 or send us an email. If you do not have an electronic device to facilitate a video chat with your loved one, please contact us and we will help problem solve accommodations. The specific email addresses and website links cited here will be available in the transcript document of this video to be listed on our COVID-19 update page on the St. John's website. Care packages and other deliveries. Another way we want to encourage connection is by continuing to provide family members with the opportunity to make deliveries to their loved ones. Care packages, laundry, and other deliveries can still be made to St. John's home the Penfield Greenhouse Home, and Hawthorne. However, locations and hours have been designed as follows. Please be sure all items are labeled with a resident's name and neighborhood location. Also, list your name in the event that we need to contact you with questions. At St. John's Home, use the Sunrise Room entrance. That will be available every day from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. At Penfield Greenhouse Homes, Use the main entrance, ring the doorbell, and a staff member will meet you in the foyer. That will be available every day from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. At the Hawthorne at St. John's Meadows, use the Hawthorne main entrance concierge desk, and that will be available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. At St. John's Gift Shop, there will be personal shopper service available. We're also making available to families a personal gift shopping service through our St. John's Home Gift Shop, which is closed to the public at this time. 
If you wish to have fresh flowers or other gift items such as clothing, jewelry, candy or snacks or cards, holiday trinkets, or other available items delivered to your loved one in their rooms, gifts may be purchased by credit card, over the phone, through our volunteer coordinator Sandy Ferguson at 585-760-1293 or by sending an email. Celebration gifts may also be purchased online through St. John's Foundation. The email addresses and web links cited here again are available in the transcript document of this video to be listed on our COVID-19 update page on the website. Stay informed. Information is changing daily and while we cannot provide you with a definitive end date for these new policies and procedures, we understand that transparency provides comfort to you in these uncertain times. We are receiving our direction regarding closures and visitations from the Department of Health and the Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services. We will continue to share information via video, memo, and email as it impacts residents, families, and staff regarding the overall operation of St. John's. We've set up a web page on the St. John's website to post recent communications, resources, policies, and FAQs. You can also contact us through email with questions or concerns or by phone at 585-292 5200 where a message can be left. We will answer emails and voicemails within 24 hours. Again, the email addresses and website links will be available in the transcript document on St. John's website. All of us here at St. John's recognize we are on the front line of the most difficult challenge we have faced in aging services. Things change by the hour in our facilities and in the larger community. Thank you for your continued trust in St. John's during this difficult time. It's my privilege to be a part of the team at St. John's. I can assure you that all of us here are doing everything we can to ensure the safety and well-being of those we serve. Stay safe and healthy. Have a good evening.